and so welcome to How to Yu-Gi-Oh! Tips and Tricks Part 12 Art of Side Decking Okay, so let's talk about the art of side decking So essentially when it comes to side decking in uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! It's very important to follow the things that I was talking about before in the, in the other tips and tricks I was talking about, you know, activation conditions And, you know, and as I was saying, you know, with activation conditions is that you know every you know like the Yu-Gi-Oh law every card in Yu-Gi-Oh has an activation condition and if it doesn't meet set activation condition you cannot activate so when it comes to the side decking basically what it means is that you need to look at activate activation conditions of popular archetypes that are in the competitive scene at the moment look at what archetypes generally or meta strategies meta strategies usually need to dominate and get cards that counter said strategy for example if you have decks that rely on banishing get artifact lancia which uh, stops banishing so artifact lancia is a hand trap and while it's, when it's activated it means your opponent cannot banish cards for the rest of the turn you know so it's always good to look at what is being played and the competitive scene and get cards that you know do the opposite that stop uh, those positive effects from happening very similar to deck building you take the same approach deck building using PCR positive card relationships and NCR negative card relationships so essentially when it comes to side decking you want to increase uh, the negative card relationships on your opponent's side of the field you want to increase those NCRs negative card relationships you want to increase them to an absurd degree so that your opponent is less likely to win that duel and that really is all that it breaks down to when it comes to side decking really. It's just about understanding, you know, Yu-Gi-Oh as a whole the game, understanding what your opponent needs to not understanding what your opponent needs, understanding what you know competent decks and archetypes that are played in the competitive scene to a high level need to compete, what they need to stay afloat, and doing and using cards that do the absolute opposite or rather that do things that harm the strategies that such sort of decks and archetypes do so you harm those strategies stop those plays and ensure that your plays are number one and that's really all i've got to say about side decking we come to the end of this video so as i like to say you are one step closer to becoming a Yu-Gi-Oh! Master. My faith, right, is in your hands.